There's a bit of a buzz on YouTube at the moment um, about the, I can never pronounce the name, I can't get to the internet right now. Chinjara uh, or something. She, anyway, CC, her first name and surname is Bullspins with a C. And she does this uh, channel, I think she's Indonesian, Selat, professor, professional. And her and her master, a very stocky looking gentleman. Um, anyway, they, they do these videos of them, like um, performing all these feats of breaking and strength and stuff. And they're being called out now. It was a, it was a video on Mc, McDojo, McDojo Life. My memory is crap today, but I, I really enjoy that. Rob, I think, is the guy who presents it. Um, and he's sort of shown these things um, about where they're doing this, uh, this deception. She's... They did this before, well, they sort of, I thought, always thought they sort of jumped the shark. The, um, I call her Cece, Cece and her master. But Cece, she started doing this thing before it was like she'd, um, she'd break her steel scaffold bar with a shin, uh, st steel scaffold bar with a shin kick and stuff. And, uh, she had this, this sort of this uh, abandoned garage or something, these concrete pillars. She was kicking chunks off them and then she punched chunks off them. Um, there's close ups to that now and it looks very much like a hammer was hitting it. <laughs> So people are saying it's kind of a lot of editing and stuff. So it's hard to know, but as the um, the guy said from McDojo Life, Rob, he said it's hard to know. She is clearly still quite a skilled martial artist as a master. So I just wonder why she had to uh, jump the shark almost. That expression where you just go way overboard for no particular reason. Because she started doing these videos about how to dodge a bullet. Um, that uh, Ramsey, what's his name, Juhi did a video calling her out on that. Because, you know, in case someone was impressionable enough to try and copy it and died you know because she's like ducking a, a bullet going through her head and uh always have one her master claiming they had a fight and he beat up 200 men some of the machetes and stuff um but just the deception of the martial arts i think it's almost like um it goes sort of sometimes goes hand in hand i don't know if that's sort of a right thing to say or something or to treat it so flippantly but i do um because i remember john blooming the late great John Blooming, the Dutch animal, Hollander no Dobutsu, as the Japanese called him, who went over to Japan, you know, he, I think he was 10th Dan Judo, 9th Dan Karate, or maybe the other way around, but very, very high grades. He was, he was Dutch. Uh, the Dutch animal, surprisingly enough. Um, but he, um, I remember he said when he first got into breaking, he said, uh, he, he, he said he, 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 he saw someone do a tile break, 15 tiles, I think, stacked. And they weren't spaced. They were like one top of the other. So he said he tried to do it and damn near broke his wrist. And then he found out the person who'd done it had soared halfway through each tile, first of all. So you couldn't see moving from the underside. Um, and then he, he said uh, Oyama. Oyama was kind of his mentor. mentor Oyama, the famous karateka. And he said, he, he said, or even Oyama, he said he'd, he'd saw, you know, when he, he, did that, he did that karate chop, like, like that, and there'd be a bottle, and he'd take the top off the bottle. He said that was, you know, he'd saw the, he'd saw the glass, or somehow, you know, I don't know, one of those very thin, sharp threads he used to saw glass. You know, he saw most of the glass, and then sort of smear it so you couldn't see it. And even that famous, the bull horn breaks, when you knock the horns off, when he used to knock the horns off bulls, which is very, would not go down well if the animal rights act, uh, things today but you know he used to fight bulls and, and he said he, those horns was partially sawn and um but a um a blooming was always cool now he said he said bruce lee let's see he said bruce lee was a damn junkie you know you'd say most of my shartists can't fight and it's all flim flam and bullshit you know because he was six foot four and he just espoused just doing a limited amount of movements over and over again which seems like a pretty good idea to me it's just yeah, it's just pretty boring, but you just keep on doing them. Um, so I'm on board with that. But yeah, so much, and you see on them, you see, always see on YouTube these guys, what's that guy, he's, he's, he says he's breaking concrete with a glass, he's holding glass, he's going, a glass. And then the presenter goes, but this is real concrete, you know, he touches it, and you see the bloke go, no! And he just touches it, and the concrete, like, breaks in two. So, I mean, there's just, there's just bullshit everywhere, but the latest to CC and their master. Um, I, I really, I used to really enjoy her videos. I mean, I still do, but it's hard to know what's real and what's not now. But it really sort of, oh, one finger press ups and stuff, they say it's not. Someone, as someone pointed out, her finger's completely straight when she's doing them. And normally, 
well, I do two finger, even if I do two finger press ups, which is about the best I can do, my fingers really bend and hers is completely straight. And the same, the master is doing a one finger press up, like head down, his feet up on the wall, which I've seen the Shaolin sometimes do it as an exhibition. But they're calling that out some select professionals and some MMA people. Um, they went out there to sort of ask that they show him a few of these things because. Like the master says he can cut through a steel pole with a knife. Well, the, the knife will just go straight through the steel pole and there's a carrot tied to the steel pole. Well, somehow it will cut the carrot, but it can pass through the steel hole. I think they call it ghost knife. And stuff like this, which is, you know, it's clearly crap. But I don't know, I just find it sort of almost like... Well, it's a bit sad they had to go that far. I don't know, is to get more subscribers or what? And that dodge the bullet thing could be a bit dangerous if someone was... You know, not not quite the full ticket, and they tried it. But I mean, you could say, you know, where do you where do you take censorship or whatever? You know, because anyone might try anything. You know. But anyway, yeah, it's just uh, a thing about sort of um, perception of the martial arts. I guess it's just always, you know, I don't think there's it's hard to think of another field where there is such just BS constantly. People claiming they can do this, that, and the other, and all the rest, but. I suppose it always was and always will be.